Hi, my name is Kirk Hamilton. I'm a practicing physician assistant of more than 30 years, nutrition, prevention, and integrative medicine, author, health educator, and host of this show, The Staying Healthy Today Show. Today's show topic is heart health and testosterone replacement. There's been some debate about testosterone replacement in, in older individuals may increase risk to heart disease, even though I think the overwhelming amount of evidence is low levels increase risk, and if you can bring them up, help normalize cardiovascular risk factors. But the debate is still there. So a paper just came out, uh, and it's entitled, Normalization of Testosterone Level is Associated with Reduced Incidence of Myocardial Infarction and Mortality in Men. Myocardial Infarction is a heart attack, mortality is death. And this was in the European Heart Journal in August of 2015. And what they did was they took 83,000 veterans who had low testosterone levels, and they had three groups. The first group with low testosterone had low testosterone, were treated, and the levels came up to normal. And these were treated with patches, and creams, uh, injections, in any modality, essentially. And then there was a second group who was treated, but same way, but the levels didn't come up to normal. And then there was a third group that wasn't treated at all. And here's what they found. When they compared the group that was treated and the levels came up with those who weren't treated at all, there was a 56% reduction in death in those who got the testosterone versus those who didn't. Um, there was a 24% reduction in heart attack and a 36% reduction in stroke. That's a big deal. So I don't think there's any question that testosterone is, is safe uh, for most people, but the beta will still rage, but I give it to my patients when it's appropriate. But here's my caveat, which relates to a patient I just had recently. I had a patient come in 64 years of age with very elevated cholesterol, elevated triglycerides, elevated blood sugar, uh, elevated weight, um, definitely at cardiovascular risk and very low testosterone. In fact, classically low by anyone's defini definition, so you could have started treating right away. But instead, what I wanted to, to have this person do is do lifestyle first. Let's see what we can do with a good diet that's mostly plant-based, off processed foods, off refined carbohydrates, um, and get some exercise and see what happens. And see if we can get the blood sugar down, get the lipids down, and then see how you feel and let's see where your testosterone is. So this person has, has just done that. Um, just saw him a month or so later, he lost uh, 12 pounds. Um, his lipids have come down, his blood sugar has come down. So we're gonna hold off on treating him with testosterone. Now some of my anti-aging colleagues or integrated medicine colleagues would have put someone on testosterone right away. But I don't do that. I'd like to have people work at their lifestyle first because once you go in testosterone, and this is a $64 question, you're really going on for life, and you're dependent on a practitioner to give it to you. So you want to do as much as you can with lifestyle. So my name is Kirk Hamilton. Uh, uh, below this video, there'll be links to the abstract of the article. There'll be links to resources I have, my Healthy Living program. Uh, you can go to my website, healthylivingforbusypeople.com or stayinghealthytoday.com. I'll talk to you soon. You have a fabulous day.